Okay. All right, we're doing more solo. And we are in the Lenaru Mines. Let me just turn that down just a little. We're in the Lenaru Mines mining facility. And we're gonna do it. Oh, I like the little heads of those guys. Cool. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got the key. Okay. So the key is not to jump off. Okay. So we got the key. Let's go over here. We should be able to go back in here and find the key piece in here. Uh, oh, I forgot about updating this. This. Uh... Boom. Places look ancient, but they have brand new keys lo and locks in them. Very interesting. Move yourself. Don't hit those guys. you Juju ch stuff. soon. Go. Uh oh, it's going to activate the whole world. Oh, 
those, those laser damn things. Let me see. Those of these real quick. these things sometimes, honestly. Like that is one I don't like that much. So we have one over there. Oh my god. Oh, it is this. Okay, so we have to... Oh my goodness. Well, uh, Whiskey and Neo or Miss Moonwalker, if you're here, there you go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got $20. It's more my jam, honestly. Bomber. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. I don't know what the hell you do. Okay, okay. Hey, look at that. Is it now? The guts is Oh, blow away the sand. This one is, I think, the one that's supposed to be handy. things. Oh, I must go to hell. Extreme wolf pack, what's up? Good morning, good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. And how are you doing today? Us, we are getting into the Zelda sensation. Ooh, just got up. Hey, sounds familiar, not gonna lie. Up early myself, doing a pre work stream. Okay, it does not work on you. There we go. Let's get the gas bellows, save this. So what do you have to do today?
Let's see. I'll see back out here again. Yeah, it's the bottom side over here. Oh, look at that. It's a button. Of course it's a button. Let's say you got plans today, man. later on is the mini boss battle for the items from a good Zelda game is letting you know what your boss is pretty much gonna be by giving you a bunch of the little version of it like that's one thing they're known for doing like this one is gonna be obviously the giant scorpion boss Changes the grass. Oh, gets rid of it. Oh. Monsters thing. Ugh. Got a monster horn. talking about
let's see. Throw it up in the chat if you're still here or if you're even hanging around. a trick to it um Snake Eyes, a new time to director of Scott's director, James Bond. Ooh, how exciting. Ugh. Ooh, my fan is just bothering my eyes. Checking something I was looking at. Um, oh, oh yeah, that's the drop down. So wait, let me see. Oh, there's gotta be. S oh. Alright, let's go back to this.
Oh, it's the pin oh, the pinwheel, the pinwheel things that we've been finding. Okay, so the pinwheels, when I see them, So when you see the pinwheels, you need to blow? Sounds like a weird message. Blow your pinwheels. Back sure you're doing this. Okay. Okay, yeah, just poke it back at him. Move. Come on. It. I'd rather get like a shit ton of hearts. Whatsoever. Oh, my God. 
Of course. Item boss key or map item compass boss key, but not varying from map first typically. Like, typically, that was the formula. Save this, definitely. Even with it. Who's <laughs> gonna crawl in here? Here we go.
Hey. Okay. Uh, so they don't need compass in this one. That's what they did. Sorry guys, my ears just bother me a little. Just itching with the uh, headphones on. Probably because I took a shower and then... Oh, I Hi, you fuckers. Ah, damn it, I went too far. Oh, you suck a willy. Oh my god. But hey, at least that's on. Okay. This game is nice enough to push you in the right direction because others all this no they will just put an enemy in there and just be like no screw you bro oh boy back when we use the bathroom.
Okay. Okay, we're back. Awesome. Oh, look at that, new mechanic. Vacuum it just changed honestly i was doing laundry <laughs> no, i got the uh, 12 to 8 hours yeah no. you like it yeah dude it's easy it's super easy the yeah. only thing is it's <laughs> honestly it's just a pain in the ass when you have um it's just a pain in the ass when you have, um, like, you don't want INFs, you know, or whatever, like, can't find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, you're running around, and that shit is just, you cannot find it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but most of the time it's not your fault. It really has to do with, like, the GM team, like, making sure, like, doing their audits and stuff, and making sure, like, if they have something, like, sure it's actually there backstocking yeah. it properly and because i run into a lot of issues in my even in my own department where i'm supposed to be like keeping up on stuff the people who will like backstock a, a, a paper pipo or something they won't locate it so okay. if it's not located i can't my my device will tell me to go fill that because it doesn't know where to pull it from yeah if, you know, I don't have it on the floor, but it says, okay, we have 68 on hand with no location and some fulfillment person needs to get it, but I don't have it on the floor. They're like, well, where is it? I'm like, it's probably on in the steel not located. So I go through my paper stuff once a week and make sure everything is located. Yeah. Yeah, no, like yesterday I needed a, um, a, uh, Home Essentials, um, uh, peeler, okay? Uh-huh. 
and literally it says we had seven or eight on the floor and four in the back. There's only three tongs <laughs> in the whole area of Homeless Central, like where it's supposed to be. And so I go and I ask the home guys, I'm like, hey man, like this is all, like where is it all at? And they're like, oh, you can check section 14 in the back. That's where the backup would be if we have it. They're like, that's yeah. weird, we don't have it. I'm like, okay, I'll go check. It ain't back there at all. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm like, this is Well, it's supposed to be there. That just means that. So sometimes stuff comes in in the wrong box. And it's mislabeled. So, like, you know, come in, they'll, they'll receive it. But maybe someone didn't check the box to make sure it was the right product. And they just open the box, like, oh, this is a nine. You know, that happens. Yeah. Also, they think we'd be out of potato peelers. Oh, yeah. dude, Target is a lot of shit all day. Like, dude, I know, and our store is like fucking big. It's ridiculous. Here's a super Target. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I don't work at. Oh, no, that's true. I don't work at the super Target. I work at a regular store. But we're also the busiest store in the area, like in the, in the district. Like today, Monday, we had an 1800 piece truck. And I was in paper, I wasn't on the truck, but like, they're like, hey, we need someone to the last panel so we can get this truck done. Yeah. They didn't start it until 5 this morning. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'll, I'll come back there. Because like, I, I do inbound a lot, so I, I, you know, if anyone's gonna go back there, it should be me, because like, I'm, I'm really quick there. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll go back there for 30 minutes. I ended up being back there for 45 minutes, because she's like, we're on the last panel. I go back there, and I'm like, what panel are we on? There's like five and a half. And I'm like, that's not the last panel. That's There's two panels left, which is a lot of work. So I ended up being back there for 45 minutes, and I was still in the middle of my uh, my one for one pull. Jeez. And I go back there, and we're done with the truck. It's like 7.30, and she's like, how's it going? I was like, I'm still in the middle of my pull. She's like, really? And I was like, yeah, because I had two uh, pallets of, of paper towels to put away today. And I was like, I did it in the middle of my pull because the way they put it in the truck, they were next to each other. So, like, they had to come out for them to keep going. So I was like, I'll come back there and pull them and I'll just push them out. And then I had, like, 17 things left in my, my pull. But yeah. I got... I ended up having to stay like an hour and a half late, but I had to be home by 10 because uh, Spectrum's coming to fix my internet. Because <laughs> it keeps going out. Oh, of course Spectrum's going out. Well, I've had the same router for six years. So it's been really fluctuating. So they like, they think they're just going to come out and check. They're going to check the signal and then and, and for anything, they're probably going to replace the equipment anyways because it's, it's old. Yeah. So, I'm okay with that. So you have their router and stuff, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I use my own I, stuff. I, I called them and I was like, you know, I pay $95 a month and my internet's going out like four times a day. What do you have there? Uh, 400 or 500 service or whatever it is? Whatever the highest is. Well, the highest is a gig, and that's $135, and I have that. I am grandfathered into the price that I pay. Uh, okay. You lucky bum. Yeah. It sucks that, like, I live. And Spectrum's, like, everywhere, and do you know why it is? They monopolized. Do you know why? Because if you work for Universal and you have Comcast, you don't have to pay for your internet. Yeah, well, guess what? So Spectrum is I would everywhere. I not have theirs at any, at any point. I, pay, I would fucking care for free. $100 a month I would have saved? Hell yeah, dude. I, I would pay for free. Like, I would Free internet, even if it was like half what I have, I'd be like, this is nice. Wrecked, bro, you're losing hearts. 
I got a uh, bottle of the fairy. It's okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't play these games. Yeah. I don't know how you know. Don't play these games, honestly. No. Hey, have you checked I... out the game New Worlds? Uh, it's I have a new MMO that's still being finished. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will probably be playing it. Some people something. apparently have already been playing it, so I just wasn't yeah, sure yeah, if no. you've seen much of it. I haven't. Uh, my friend Chris, he, he plays Humble. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know many MMOs, but, you know. Oh, no, he, he's, he's a friend of mine. He, he was in game design with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a programmer who lives in Fort Myers now. Ew. Yeah. Oh, I keep putting it on my old desk. I moved, by, I moved to the other side of the room. I took my uh, fiance's desk over. <laughs> nice. She's like, I don't have time to play it and stuff. And she's like, oh, my back hurts. So she's, she wants to get a wireless keyboard, mouse, and headset and just play off the TV. Yeah, I mean, shit, everybody else does it. Yeah, we just got a third couch yesterday from our neighborhood. What the hell? A third couch, really? Yeah, this one's nice. It's nice. Yeah, she slept on it last night. I was like, how's the couch? And she goes, oh, it's nice. <laughs> and it's nice. <laughs> it's, one of those, like, it's one of those, like, really fluffy leather couches, you know what I mean? Uh... Yeah, it's sweet. It was fucking heavy, dude. It was, it, it's like 500 pounds. For some reason. I don't know why. But three of us moved it over. And I went to work today. And they like, how you doing? I was like, my back hurts so bad. Yeah. I'm about to go, go get Dr. Koch to... Crack me like a glow stick. Dude, I have not had the fucking chance to go to Dr. Kosh in forever. Oh, How you feeling? My back hurts like hell all the time. Like yesterday, my, oh my god, dude, my back was hurting while working. I was like, oh my back. It yeah. sucks. It sucks, you know. Do you know you walk in an eight hour, like, you walk like nine to ten miles doing fulfillment? Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy because like, like I did it right after uh, quarantine, like being furloughed. So I literally sat on my butt for like nine months. Yeah, and then I was like, for that during uh, Black Friday week. Oh my god, <laughs> that's when I started. <laughs> it was insane, but I don't do fulfillment anymore. Yeah. Dude, the CSS thing has been awesome. By the way, I get, I get, I got raided earlier. And I get raided. Um, no one raids me. Period. Dude, I've been raided a few times now. One time I got double raided and double hosted on the same day, and it gave me like nine, ten followers in one hit. Are you already a, or an affiliate there? No, 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 no. I've got forty followers, but I went from like twenty-four to like forty, okay. like two streams only. Well, you, what you could do if you want to and angle it because you're so close that's all you need is the 50 followers right 50 and then just i'm i always end up going to like 1.7 almost two on the percent but every time okay. i come in here people come and watch so yeah that's why i saw you were streaming i figured i was like i'll just uh, do, you, do you watch your own stream uh no it counts i does it yeah <laughs> Cause there's two people watching right now. Yeah, I did have more, but um, like if you can see in the chat, there's multiple people that are in, and one of them actually was uh, doing the raid. I think it was Miss Moonwalker or it was Wiz. Uh, they were doing the raid, and they have their stuff. They're still hosting, and they just left it on. The no, I'll yeah, I I do my uh, streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays. How do you get people to come raid you? I just put it in the thing, and people just. Randomly Which come raid me. 
Which channel? The non-affiliate go live, and they just do it. People are just like me. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh... You're like... I'm... <laughs> Shit. People just like me, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't given anybody to rate me yet. But I'm going to be playing tomorrow night, uh, 7 to... I got that to... ghost game, by the way. 7 to... Oh, play with us t tomorrow, then. Uh, well, I work again until 8. Okay, well... And then, we obviously, I'm married, so I got to do the whole... I got to see what Kate wants to do. She wants to watch you play, uh, Ghost Hunter 4. <laughs> That's what she wants to do. Then you ask her because I was like, oh, you can do that on your days off. I'm like, well. Well, I can only write with my with my schedule. I I only go Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, I can only write with my with my schedule. I only. So, so good morning. How do you like your new bed? Well, you can take naps as much as you want. That is my friend. This is Bryce. I met him in college. We took a really easy programming class together. <laughs> and then we took much harder ones together. And failed. <laughs> and then we took the same class with with uh, this whiting. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> didn't learn anything. You know what's so funny? We because we made that spades game. Yeah, we didn't even need it. Turns out Where's we didn't the thing? This shit. Here's the thing, dude. We we programmed a game to learn how to, to play spades. Yeah. I don't even know how to play spades. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful that you can do that? She's like, oh, let's play spades. And we're like, she didn't even ask. Does anyone even know spades? Everybody would have like, no, get out of here with that. Uh, it was so easy because she just. She didn't care. She's going, go, no, she's going over the the homework with with the solution on the board, and we're just sitting with our phones recording it. <laughs> and then we just go home, and we're just like, what no, does that say? We didn't go home. We went. To oh McDonald's. no, we went to McDonald's. <laughs> we went to McDonald's and like make video games. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, it's so much fun. That's because we had like six hours between classes. We were just yeah, in the we just line. chill in my car and yeah, it's like, jeez. And every time I'm like, we're, we're gonna go to the gym, and you're like, no gym today, and I'm like, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude, I'm like... Dude, my back was just screwed up, so... Like, no, no gym today, you're like, oh, that's, that's, that's nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, you're like, but now I want to go to the gym. I got my own rowing machine and stuff, honestly. You got a rowing machine? Yeah, I bought my own rowing machine, a water rower. Oh, nice, dude. I wouldn't mind getting one of those. I just have nowhere to put it. I want to get a weight bench, because I have, I have weights, like free weights. Yeah. And, but I don't have a bench, and the ones we sell at Target, they're like $100. Damn. And yeah. it's just the bench. It's not for like a like the the um, the barbell. It's the dumbbell. So I mean, I might as well just like lay on my computer. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> but we also got a really big wicker chair that we just put on our patio. So I don't know where I would even put it. All right, babe. I hope it goes really well. Hey, that's free cheese. Maybe be real, be real quick. Has she got a meeting or something? Uh, she's got a doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. That's what I'm gonna talk about a while. How far away you live from that that store? Oh, um, I mean, I live off Oak Ridge, so it's Oak Ridge Millennia right there. Oh, so you're like five minutes away. Mm, 
Well, 10 because Millennia fucking sucks. I have to drive past Millennia. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm... Because I work so early, it takes me like 8 to 9 minutes to get to work, but it takes me 20 minutes to get home. Oh, legit. Yeah. Where the fuck am I going with this? But I, I still gotta wake up at 3... Usually about 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work. Which is pretty awful. But if I switch tonight, which I was thinking about doing, then Dude, I can only to work. Merge. Why are you wanting to do that? You want to do? Are you wanting to do the um, putting the shit up now? That's what I do. We do that at three o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. We start that stuff. I don't see our guys ever doing that. Yeah. Hold on. One second. Yeah, because we, uh, the truck comes in at 3, we start unloading around 3.30, 4 o'clock, or 4.30. Um, then we pull the U-boats out, push it on the floor, which, well, we do our one-for-one one while they're getting, you know, the, the other stuff full. Do you know what a one-for-one one is? Oh, no. I don't have so, like, every, everything that's sold throughout the day, it keeps track of that. Yeah. Um, in the, in, the, in, the, in the handheld, the, the mind device. And oh, then, okay. And then you, um, So, like, I think the night people... I don't work at night, so I don't know... I don't know what they do. That's the question. What do I they think they do? do... I think they do, like... Because there's someone who works A and B, so I think she's like doing one for ones for like four different departments, and that's what they do. And then they, then they straighten the store up and then they go. But I think what we do is like, for you know, if I work in paper, so I'll check and see since the evening what sold, and I'll have like 70 or 80 items to pull, and then I yeah. push it on the floor, and then I go back and and get whatever came off the truck with me and push that wherever I can fit on the floor on back stock it. That's, that's it. It's easy. It's just sometimes, like, sometimes, you know, they only schedule you four hours to do it, but it might be six and a half hours worth of work, and, they're, and then they try to be like, oh, can you stay? And I'm just like, no. If you want me to stay, schedule me six hours. If you don't, and if I get done early, I'll leave early. Wait, so they, how many hours do you work? It's four hours. Maybe. I get about between 15 and 24 hours. Oh my god. I, it's my availability because she has, you know, she's she's a hairstylist, so she can't, like... She has a set schedule, but she works, like, kind of like a mid-shift. Up until like as late as, late as 9 p.m. No, she, she they close at night. Uh, she has this schedule to work Yeah, I feel you. But so I can only work until like Monday, Tuesday. I can work all day, but I just I was gonna start doing shift. But I told them that I, so I already told my camera past 10, so I was gonna do shift in the afternoons. I just I got hired by them like five months ago and I had to to do it. Even though it pays almost twice as much as, as Target. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, so okay. far though, I will say this. I like the people I work with at Target. Yeah. They're really chill crew, honestly. Yeah, and like, film that's cool because like you're just kind of like on your own like no one no one bothers you and really like they don't want you helping guests really it's your time so they want you to kind of yeah i know that's all help like. if it's quick but if you get stuck helping someone they want you to you know get a gmt member yeah that's or, their job you know like, i mean it's ever it's that. everyone's job but you know, if you if you're on a time limit, you know, don't get stuck trying to help someone when you know you need to get done. Yeah. Because you don't want to go in the red. Like, INF is one thing, 
Because, like, don't worry about your INF as long as you're checking with your team leads. And they're, they're clearing it. Say, like, okay, it's fine. You know, we looked, we looked, we looked, we didn't find it. Yeah, that's what I usually have to do. Like, yesterday, I just kept getting screwed over. Dude, the yeah. day before that, oh my god, there's a guy who's even newer than me. And every cart I was shipping out for, like, that he did, oh, oh my god, it was so hard. Because every cart that he was doing, like, um, it had the wrong item on it. It had the wrong item on it, meaning he was, it wasn't scanning for him, so he just punched in the number. And so, I'm sitting there like, are you kidding me? That's, that's bad. Yeah. And I'm sitting there having to leave shipping from the back, going to find this damn item. And when you're shipping, it's on your time too. Uh, ship from store is not, not as crucial. It just has to be done by the end of the day. Well, no, no, no. When you start a cart for us, at least, they're timed. You're they are, they are timed, but usually the time, the timer for a ship from store, is, the the countdown is usually the deadline for the end of the day. Like you usually don't, you don't have the three hours to go pick the cart because it's OPUs are three hours from when they drop. It's three hours. Ship from store has to be done by the end of the day. Like, I was, um, uh, yeah, but I'm, like, packing up his crap. That's what I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're packing it up at the end of the night, yeah, you, I mean, you're, you're going to get that, you know. That's what I'm yes. talking about. I'm packing yes, it, it has up. To be done. I'm tacking it up, and then I'm, like, scanning it, and I'm, like, I'm trying to put it in a box, and there's, like, every cart he did, because every time I went back to it, it was the same guy. Every cart he did, one item from one of the orders was the wrong fucking item, and he just entered it in by hand. Okay, yeah, you need to talk to the lead about that. Oh, maybe, I did, maybe. and I was like, yeah. okay, I'm having to find this, and I told them, and they're like, okay, who was it? I'm like, it was so-and-so. I'm not gonna name yeah. it on here, and then I'm like, okay, and then I would go back, do another cart, someone else's, I go back, I do another cart, it's another item, I check who it is, I tell them, I'm like, it's the same guy, and it's like his next cart, and then I do it again, it's his third cart. He only did three, and one from each one had something fucked up on it. And I'm like, Yeah, they're like, he needs to be, he needs like, to be retrained. They're like, oh man, he's just entering shit in. I'm like, yeah. And like, some of it was like, our store? He's, cause he's so scared of INF and he doesn't want to talk to people. That's what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, our that's store's that's... got the, um, it's got back to school and it's got the, um, Dude, the, back to school's um, nuts. it's got back to school and it's got the, um, in the front other side of the whole other side of the store. Remember, we're a big store. It's got the uh, stationery, and I had to go there for post-its and shit. Yeah, back to school's stationery, uh, dollar spot, and seasonal. It sucks. <laughs> it, I, it's the everyone hates back to school. It's there's so much stuff. So I'm like, fuck, this really sucks, man. Oh no, I'm just, honey, I'm just talking about like at work, like when when it's back to school stuff, we get so much stuff we have to put it away, like it's it's insane. It's like, just trying to find it, honestly. No, it's trying to find it is bullshit too at times. So I'm not gonna lie. It's because it's like it's like for for us putting it away for GM. It's like it's it's all like. Oh, there you go. Nope, that's not uh, it. Turn, turn, turn it towards. Hold on, hold on. Keep going, keep going. Uh, towards. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to tilt it the right way. There you there go. go, that's the way. That's the way. No. No. Yeah, it's supposed to be a short up top. Yeah, I know. But where's the short end then? Oh, there it is, there it is. Whoop. There we go. Show up, boss. I'm hoping I have time for this, right. honestly, because I literally have to get. I usually have to leave by 11:30. Well, you got an hour. Yeah, well, I didn't finish getting ready for work exactly yet. No, oh, I just sleep in my jeans and I throw a shirt on and I grab my grab my jeans. Damn you, dude. I mean, well, I, I get up so early, like, I want to sleep as much as I can, but I go to bed at, like, 6.30. Yeah. Are you drinking uh, Mountain Dew? Yeah, the Baja Flash. The one that tastes like yeah. pina colada. It's so good. Yeah. 
I got that one, and we have the the tropical. The red. I, the I, orange. I have the orange. Also. The orange yeah. one. Yeah, it's just fruit punch, basically. I don't no, like no, no, that no. one as much. No, this one's not fruit punch. It's like uh, orange. It's like live wire, but there's like more fruit flavors. But it's, ba it's their Baja version, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have a case of that also. It's in the fridge, but it's. Yeah, it's... they're 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 three for twelve right now. Yeah. Or three for cheaper than that because discount. I went yesterday and bought uh, new bedding because uh, Aurora got a new bed. And, nice. Uh, spent like oh, and I spent groceries. I had like yeah, yeah. So the bedding ended up being like ninety dollars, ninety seven dollars for everything that I bought there. And then with all the discounts and uh, gift cards that I got for just buying like brand stuff the other day. I ended up spending, I saved $30. Nice. Yeah, I good. All that Scorpion's got to do is like grab you in its picture and then just stab you with its tail and you yeah. die. St. Augustine, and I, I went to it. it oh, was, nice! Oh my God, dude, it was it was a beautiful wedding. I was in the I was in the wedding party. Was his wife Jack Asian? No, she's Puerto Rican. Oh, nice. Yeah, they he. I'm telling you, man, he probably spent 120 grand on that thing. That wedding was immaculate. That's a lot of money for a fucking wedding. Yeah. No that lie. Has, that kid has two jobs, and one of them is a business he owns. So he's. Yeah, but I mean, how how much time do you have then for anything else? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's still work. He was working as security guard, but I don't think he's doing that anymore. I, I I'm not really sure what he's doing. But he he went through a big ordeal. Like he had leukemia and stuff. He had fucking cancer. Yeah. Uh, basically, right when quarantine hit, he, he texted me and he was like, "Hey man, how's it going?" And I was like, "Oh, pretty good. How you doing?" He's like, "Well, to be honest, not great." And I was like, "Oh, what's going on?" And he's like, "I've got leukemia." <laughs> I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, like, like yeah, for fuck's he's, sake, bro. He's he was 24 when he got it, and he he was I mean that usually hits people younger, anyways. But he was uh, he was like, "Yeah, I was just sitting around." He's like, uh, "I didn't feel too good." And then all of a sudden, my feet were numb for. A, for a day or two, and I was like, oh, I should go to the doctor. Goes to the doctor, gets his blood test, and he's like, yeah, we're gonna, you got leukemia, we're gonna start chemo immediately. And he's like, oh my god. Dude, that's super fucking young, too. I was like, yeah, like, he just graduated with you guys. And he's like, yeah. cool, I got my degree, now I can, now I can fucking Well, we, we, gradu we graduated almost three years ago. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> like, I graduated two and a half years ago. Yeah. That's nuts. Just gonna stand master pose while I go through this. Yeah. Oh. I am kind of using my degree, but not for paid work. I'm just making tabletop games. Duh. I just, what I gotta, I'm, it for? 
Yeah, I know. I got late. <laughs> yeah, I know because I can't program. So unless I get well or Chris to like, yeah, I feel you. You know, work with me. Oh, let's get this in here. Hold on. Because I know the four of us could make something. Yeah. Wait, turn you down so they can hear this. From uh, am I late? <laughs> Epic Sax is from uh, Sunstroke Project. Uh, <laughs> Runaway. It, it's a song from uh, the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. yeah it's a good song. I really like it. I listen to it a lot. Uh, Crab Rave, I love. That's a great song. <laughs> She's like, she's like, get back, bitch! I'm trying to get you in here. Oh, was this, was this the one? At that moment, you get fucked up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love, I love those. Videos. You ever see those? <laughs> oh my god, ghost, ghost breathing would be really good for uh, when you're playing. If you're playing. Uh, Go something for it. I know, like, that's why I put that in there. It should be in there. It is. Oh, yeah, no. If you play with us eventually, like, you, you'll hear, like, Albie Wolf. He just. He screams so much. He I scream half the time. Yeah. The game's not scary to me in the least bit because it's. There's some weird bugs with it. Like, just the animation of, like, your hands and arms, it just, it's... I don't know. Why? Yeah. That's alright. Why? Well, we're not going anywhere. I gotta wait for Spectrum to come here and fix me. They're supposed to be here between 10 and 11, so they're supposed to be here in, like, the next 10 minutes. So, we'll see. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna be saving this and I'm gonna be ending the stream. Which, yeah, and then the YouTube, my YouTube, I've been putting all the Zeldas up there in a thing. Nice. Alright, and that ends it. Oh, that was nice having oh, you pop in oh. here, Doug. Yeah, oh, man. man. I'm gonna get ready to finish for work. Appreciate I figured, you for the I figured stream. you'd like some conversations going rather than you just having a dumb look on your face playing this game. You just like, duh. <laughs> uh, do I do that? Yeah, you just like you you sit there with your mouth caped open. You're like, uh. <laughs> oh, I don't realize I do that. I'm just like, yeah. I sit there. I'm just like, you should try to talk more while you're playing, even though no one's here. Just kind of explain what you're doing. Or something sometimes but i mean like today i woke up i was just extremely tired and it was an off day for me honestly the other day i was actually better if you see my other ones i did um, bro come on but... this is why i don't want you over here you just oh, bro. i was like what the fuck <laughs> i was like what an asshole oh, 